Well, let's get to The Economist. A very important and well-known economist, Stephen Roach, he says the V-shaped recovery is, quote, in tatters. Obviously not going well, according to Stephen Roach. David Barson joins us this morning. All right, David, you follow The Economist as closely as anybody. Uh, is the V-shaped recovery in tatters, in your opinion? You know, I love Stephen Roach. I worked with him at Morgan Stanley for many years, and Stephen has called 20 of the last three recessions. So I think that we uh, definitely have a uh, uh, good justification for being skeptical and concerned and cautious about the outlook for economic recovery. It's fragile, and we don't want anything to go wrong. Um, the, the debate, though, is not whether or not it's going to be V-shaped any longer. It's clearly V-shaped. The debate is how severe that that you know right line will be as we keep going forward. Does it kind of taper down a little bit, even as it continues moving forward? I think the speed of the V-shape might slow down. Now, I know that you primarily follow stocks or companies which are increasing their strong dividend. But let me just ask you this on the, take the big picture for a second. Put, put your viewpoint on that aside. The big picture. We're about to have a mountain of money, gusher of money, go straight into the economy. Is that why almost everybody is bullish for 2021? It's a combination of factors, and that stimulus factor you bring up is only a continuation of what's been going on for, for a long time. You have both the monetary and fiscal side. It's continuing into 2021, and that's just this uh, new, you know, eight or $900 billion bill. We know there's going to be another bill as well. So there's certainly optimism. Some of it justified, some of it not, because some of that money is going to go into a black hole, and it's going to be very wasteful. But overall, I think markets do like the idea of this money sloshing around. But I don't want uh, people to misunderstand. The monetary side is far more important to markets than the fiscal side. Unemployed people getting an extension of unemployment, we can have a debate about what we think of that as far as social policy. But from a market standpoint, it's somewhat insignificant. It's more relevant to those people in their financial position. What markets care about is the trillions of dollars that get sloshing around in terms of quantitative easing and the no interest rate environment. That's the big deal, Stuart. Let's talk the big tech companies for a second. You say there, there is now risk in a big tech investment. Make your case. Well, of course, I said it throughout all of last year, too, and the, the stocks rallied huge. And so I'll be very, very honest that this is not a timing call. Um, the events over the weekend, some of them were not surprising to me. Some of them were utterly shocking. But all I would point out is that this is another action that it comes on top of valuations that are through the roof. A NASDAQ that was up 42 percent last year, a forward multiple, forward price earnings ratio in the NASDAQ that's higher than it was in 1999 going into 2000. So I understand some people could argue that they just think the bubble can keep going, and maybe it does. But when you add the antitrust investigations, the, the various federal regulatory, and now this really legitimate debate that's obviously going to be very polarizing, and, and I won't get into it now, although I'm happy to another time. But my point being, it's, it adds risk into the sector. People need to be aware that risk when you come in to a high valuation is different than new risk coming into a reasonable yeah. valuation. I consider myself warned. David Barnson, thanks for being with us. See you again soon. Thank you. All right.